This is Alan Bush with ADMIS in the Stock Index Futures. First of all, yesterday's sharp gains were linked to the minutes of the most recent Fed meeting. Uh, of course, those were released yesterday afternoon, showing that policymakers were a bit more dovish than analysts had previously uh, anticipated. So good gains there in response to the release of those minutes. However, today we are seeing some profit taking coming in. We did have jobless claims coming in at a rather low number at 300,000. Uh, the guess was 326,000. Overall, we feel that even though we're a little bit uh, lower today, that we will see a recovery to higher on the day. Still thinking higher for stock index futures longer term. We also continue to believe that the Fed will be very slow to raise interest rates, even though the consensus view is that the Fed will raise the Fed funds target rate in the middle of next year, our feeling is that it will be much later than that. So look for higher in stock indices with the Fed as accommodative as they currently are. Over in the foreign currencies, we did see the British pound advancing to some new highs. This due to a report showing UK house prices increasing. However, some profit taking coming in more recently. Also, we had the dollar index falling to a better than a two and a half week low in the overnight trade. However, some short covering, taking the dollar index from uh, lower to a little bit higher. I would not be surprised to see a move back to lower on the day for the dollar. Longer term, we still feel that the main trend is to the downside. And in the interest rate markets, futures holding up very well, even though we did have the jobless claims coming in at a rather low number. This, of course, would be a bit bearish for Treasuries, and yet Treasury futures holding up well. Also, futures holding up well, especially at the long end, even though we do have the Treasury auctioning 30-year bonds today. So Treasuries holding up well in spite of the news. We continue to feel that the long-term trend is higher across the board, especially at the long end of the curve. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.